if you kill that spotty hit like that, it'll get the better of you if you're not careful, I'm telling you. Warning, this video features a very scary and deadly spider. Never attempt to pick up these killer spiders. Also, some parts of this video are in black and white. Well, hi there. I'm down at my mum's house doing a tidy up. I found a redback spider. I think it's a male and female combination, so it's curious to look at. I've got to deal with this spider because redbacks are deadly. Uh, mum's going to give me some advice. Should I be careful with these redback spiders, mum? My word, you should, because they're a killer one. They That's right. Uh, the redback spiders are killer spiders in Australia. Uh, uh, I think they are sort of related to the black widows that you find in the USA. Let's do it. Well, down at mum's... I looked at the cupboard here. Damn spider. Yes, mum, I will be careful. Are you taking any notice of me? No, mum. Um, oh. This one does kill spiders. Mum's also got a Lumina vacuum cleaner here. Uh, I had one of these as well. Mum's got a big stick too. Yeah, I know mum's got a big stick. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and get the spider in this one and uh, I will not be using the insecticide. Most importantly, I'll be wearing some gloves. Anyone else having flashbacks of Psycho and Norman Bates in this video? Let's take a look at the spider, it's just over here. Well, where the red back lives is basically right in the middle of the screen there. I've actually brought down some WD-40 because in the past, that's actually pretty good at cleaning up spiders, especially when it's on fire. I'm gonna try and use that vacuum cleaner this time around. Okay, let's get in close and let's take a look at what's going on here. Well, tracking along the ground here, I believe that is the remnants of what this female red back spider has been feeding on. She's been a hungry girl. If we go up, we'll start to see things up in her web. I wonder if that's a male redback carcass there. Because I've got a feeling these spiders eat their mates and she's just there. Can you start to see her? Well, there she is hiding away in her web there. I'm going to try and get her out of there so we can have a better look at her. I've got one of mum's best knives here. That's from my childhood, I can tell you. That's probably back from the whoop whoop times. Okay, I'm going to try and tease this uh, redback out of the comfort of being hidden away. They are nocturnal spiders. Pretty rare to see them uh, during the daytime, and she's probably very aware she's got a little friend who wants to try and play with her right now. Uh, do not do this, boys and girls at home. Don't play with these spiders. These guys are really, really dangerous, and they're actually going all over the world. In fact, she's playing dead, which is good because we get to see her play dead because she knows she's getting someone coming in to attack her homeland here. And basically I've got to get this spider out of my mum's homeland is the best way of saying it. Yeah, look at that. You would think that spider is dead. Tricky, aren't they? Very, very tricky. Oh, oh, oh she come in for the attack on that. What's she gonna do here? That is a fantastic specimen, I can tell you. Great big one, this one. And while she's like that, maybe we'll see the similarity to the American Black Widow spider by that hourglass redness on her abdomen. Well, it's taking a bit to get her away from her web. Of course, that is her home. They're very good at making webs. All spiders are expert web makers and they make incredibly strong webs. One of the marvels of nature. But um, come on, let's have a better look at you. Get her up onto the white here and we'll have a nice, clear look at this spider. Ooh. Gives me shivers looking at this thing, I tell you, black and deadly. Well, she's just dropped to the ground and there she's playing dead, just balling herself up like that. That's what spiders do to try and basically trick whoever's attacked them into thinking, well, there's nothing here to have to eat. I'm dead. Well, I can assure you that spider is not dead. Oh, hello, black beauty. Come to papa. But please don't bite me. She's actually traversed across to the WD-40 can. Probably trying to find somewhere to hide. Maybe by moving the can around, we'll get to see her in some better light. And it looks like she's on the can. So we do 40, you're gonna love this one. Okay, having a good look at her now. The fact she's got a bit of red on her back there, denotes her as a red back spider. Ooh, she's a pretty one. Now I'll tell you what, that is a fair size red back. Um, I don't see much larger than that. Uh, fantastic specimen. Normally you just go and you know, roll it over and kill it. Uh, but I'm very curious to see if that Aldi Lumina vacuum cleaner will have any effect on this spider. Good God! That's one of my good knives! Oh, sorry Mum. Um, well, you are down here to see the spider. Just maybe ignore the knife for the moment. Look at that one Mum. What do you think of yes, that? Yes, look at it. Have you seen one as big as her? No, I must admit. 
I haven't. Dad, in your 90 years, you've never seen a redback this big. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I thought it was a I big one. I haven't seen that many. Come on. Well, they do hide, Mum. They're nocturnal. You tend to only see them if you go looking for them at night. But mind you, you get a bite from her and you're going to be very sick. And if you're very unlucky, you'll be, be lucky dead. lucky like That's right. Looks great on that good knife. And again, there is that spider playing dead. Uh, that's a very important thing to see with this spider because it does it quite often. Uh, if I touch it with a knife a few times, it will get out of playing dead thinking maybe I can run for my life. Or maybe it's just going to play dead. Um, so that's what, yeah, you have to be very careful spiders. Sometimes they look like they're dead, but in fact, they are alive. Just getting some slow motion of this spider walking. Hopefully that should look cool. I'll get the vacuum cleaner ready to suck up the redback spider. I highly suspect this cheap Aldi vacuum cleaner uh, won't do much, it won't kill the spider, it'll just get stuck in there and spin around. Uh, my Dyson at home has actually killed very small spiders, but I think surprised a lot of my audience. And when they want to, uh, they can move very fast. Uh, so just be really, really careful when you see one of these guys. Don't think they're sluggish, they can get along very, very quickly. Okay, so there's the redback spider, there's the vacuum cleaner, I'm going to turn it on. And it's going to meet my maker, I hope. Well, and the spider is in there, uh, sort of spinning around. But the question is, is that enough to kill that redback spider? Spider spinner! What do you think, boys and girls, we've got a spider survived in there? Let's take a look. And I've got to unclip it under here. I can't do this single-handedly on my Dyson machines. I've got to get the two hands on this. I'm sorry. Well, got that part separated. I've got to pull the filter out because I've got to be careful in case that spider is still up and going. Okay, that's a little filter though. Useless. They just get clogged up real fast. That's a big problem with these vacuum cleaners. And this other piece, I've got to pull that now. If I can do it single-handedly. Oh, come on. Okay. Well, I get bitten here. <laughs> That's always the problem when you play with spiders. Ah, oh, this thing annoys me. Let me get two hands onto it. Sorry. Sorry, after a double hand massage there, there's that part out. It basically just receives the filter and sends the stuff into a swirl. Has that red back survived? Let's take a look. Ah, now is it dead or is it just plain dead? Well, there's a spider leg there. Um, that's the spider. We've seen how well these guys play dead. Is it dead or alive? Will it tease itself back into life? What do you think, boys and girls? Is that spider a goner? Or is it just playing dead? You know what? I think that spider's a goner. Well, there you go. I'm actually very surprised. We had a look at a Redback Spiders video. We had a look at Mum's good old cutlery there from the good old days. We also had a look at the Aldi vacuum cleaner that she's had some WD-40. And I should return all the stuff back to Mum, clean a knife and uh, bin the spider. So often the best way to get rid of these spiders is you basically just get something and you come along and you roll over them. Whoa, there you go. Spider gone. Mind you, it's a fairly messy way, and then you've got to come in and basically clean up everything. Oh, Mum's good cutlery again, damn it. Oh well. Goodbye, spider. Well, there you go. There's my good deed for the day for my mum. Um, you've got to deal with these spiders. Redback spiders are dangerous, deadly spiders. You don't want them around the home, and they like to get into things that have been left around in warm spots. That's where you'll find them. Very good to see how that spider played dead. That's a very interesting aspect to spider survival, the way they play dead. And they'll do that when they're being attacked by birds or if they're getting any sort of threat. I think I hear mum in the background. Can you hear her? Well, I better leave this video. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Oh, come on, it's about time you gave it away.
You get the better of you if you're not careful, I'm telling you. I had enough time with that spider. Becoming like a love affair. We've got to look into that and besides which you're so silly being out there in the cold. Apart from anything else. I don't know where you were doing out there apart from playing daddy to a, a jolly deadly spider. <laughs> <laughs>